Hey everybody, welcome back to Scott's Toys. Uh, my name's Dave, and this video is the third installment in our new series. We've covered some Amazon stuff, we've covered some Bricklink stuff. Now we're gonna cover some general kind of resell uh, type stuff. I've been watching a lot of like flipping and garage sale and treasure hunting and deal hunting type videos. Uh, to call out a couple channels that I really like, uh, there's a channel out there called Retro Rick. He kind of deals a lot in retro video games, which is a huge passion of mine. See the shirt. Uh, there's uh, NC uh, Picker. There's Commonwealth Picker. Uh, a lot of fun stuff that basically involves the concept of going out, finding a good deal on a product, whether it's retail arbitrage kind of deal, which means going into a retail store, finding stuff on clearance, finding stuff on sale, and then finding a different avenue or marketplace to be able to sell it on to make a profit, or going out to thrift stores and garage sales, uh, Facebook marketplace, different uh, mediums like that, and finding a good deal so that you can flip it on eBay uh, or some other setting, Facebook marketplace, stuff like that. So. Uh, that, that's pretty much what this section is going to be about. Don't have a lot that I'm going to show you in terms of what's sold at this point. Uh, I have one item, I guess. I'll go ahead and share that here. You'll see that right up here. And that is a uh, Pokemon card, uh, Mad Party Pin Pack, I believe is what it was called, something along those lines. Bought it for, I think it was $12.99. Ended up selling it online for $30 plus shipping, I believe. Uh, you'll, you'll see it up here, whatever I sold it for. That's really the only item that I've sold this week. And so I'm going to just share with you a little bit of some of the deals that I found. So to get right into it, let's start with my purchase from a Salvation Army near me, which involves a whopping three DVDs. So some of these I took a little bit of a risk on, but the DVDs from this particular Salvation Army are 50 cents a piece plus tax, so whatever that is, 53 cents or something. And so we've got a NASCAR Ultimate DVD Collection Chasing Glory. Uh, I just kind of took a gamble on it because I know NASCAR is pretty big uh, in the secondhand market. Figured, look, I, I don't know if there's any value in it, but for 50 cents, figured uh, it would be fun for a try. And, and then we got two kind of sealed uh, copies here, sealed DVDs, uh, which oddly enough, DVDs have almost no value typically. However, I found that some workout videos, uh, in terms of name brand at least, will end up having some value. And so I, I don't remember the exact comps on this, but I figure for this I'll be able to pull like probably 7 or $8. Uh, it's new sealed. And then this one, which I don't know anything about, uh, but it was a sealed uh, video that I figure, look, I might even be able to sell these ones on Amazon because of the FBA and the fact that they're new sealed. Uh, it was kind of a unique thing. I think it was like $15 or $16 on Amazon. So that one might end up going into Amazon. The other two are probably going to head to eBay. So now let me go ahead and get into the Goodwill finds that we had for the week. At Goodwill, we managed to find a brand new Mr. Coffee Burr Grinder. And I get you, this stuff is crazy, the fact that this is a complete diversion from all the Lego stuff that you see behind me. But in essence, got this burr grinder for $19.99, and I was seeing it was selling on eBay for around $50, and even Amazon FBA. It's completely new, brand new, sealed in box. Looked like it was a special order that had been returned or something. And so if I can get $50, $60 bucks from it, that's a $30 flip without a whole lot of effort. So we got that. The next one, which I was pretty excited about, is this uh, Carrera. Yoshi, I'm gonna call it a helicopter or a drone or something along those lines. You can see I paid $14.99 for it here. And the comparable um, listings on eBay that had been selling have been selling around $45. They might drop down to around 40. But I figure for $20, $25 a piece, I, I did get two of these. Uh, new sealed in box. Uh, figured it was worth a gamble and we would see what we could do with those. So I got two of those. Next up is kind of a fun little thing that caught my eye. It is a Pikachu thermos lunchbox, brand new with tags. Got this for $3.99, I believe. No, $2.99. And so uh, Pokemon, obviously really huge. Uh, it had the thermos brand with it. Uh, it looks in really good condition. The cover of it actually kind of reminds me of the 80s and 90s uh, in terms of stuff that I grew up with. So I'm hoping this will do pretty good. This one I did a little bit of a gamble on. I didn't actually look up any comps for this. 
Uh, but for three bucks, I figured it was worth a chance. Lastly, from Goodwill, got uh, two games and one DVD. I think they mischarged me on the DVD because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be a dollar ninety nine cents. But it was a, a TRX basic training, again, sticking with the workout thing. Sealed, uh, new inbox, figure might end up trying it on Amazon. But uh, they ended up charging me $2 for it. I, I didn't quite complain because of the next two finds, which are two uh, complete uh, inbox Xbox 360 games. We've got Wolfenstein, The New Order, and Dishonored Game of the Year Edition. I'm pretty sure when I looked these up, they were each roughly about $15 a piece uh, in complete condition on eBay. So just the two of those should be $30 covering the $6 worth of DVDs. Okay, so our Meyer haul is a little bit bigger. We got a lot more stuff. I did realize we also have one Target thing as well. So I'll end it on the Target item. But we're going to start off with Meyer with this Barbie, Holiday Barbie 2020. Uh, in essence, normally a $40 Barbie. They had a clearance to 50% off. And so I got this for $20 on Amazon. This is currently going for, I think it's $65 or something along those lines. So I ended up picking up two of those because they had them. I'm not actually ungated in uh, Barbies yet, but I figure I can kind of wait until I do get ungated in them, or I can try and do a quicker flip on eBay. Even if I lower the price some, I figure if I make 15, 20 bucks a piece on them, uh, it should be a good margin and worth my time. Next items are these, uh, which I have no idea what they are. Uh, it's the six collection. I think it has something to do with Rainbow Six, uh, Series 2, they're Ella's. And the price on them here actually says that it's $3.99 a piece, which would have been 50% off. But in reality, they're kind of like secret clearance or something along those lines, which a lot of people talk about. They were only $1.50 a piece. And I did see these uh, selling on eBay for about uh, 14, 15 bucks a piece. So got two of those, thought that was definitely worth the pickup for little to no risk. Next we have a cool little uh, Muppet Baby plush. And um, this one I thought was pretty wild. It's Kermit from Muppet Babies. And uh, got him for $3.99, apparently on Amazon FPA, which I can sell him on there because he's got tags and him not gated. He's going for somewhere around, I think it was like $18 or $19. By the time you take fees out of there, it's probably gonna drop it down around like 11 or 12 uh, as a return. But for $4, figure ah, an easy five or $10 and uh, he looked pretty cool, so we had to pick him up. Next, we've got a Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle Thomas the Train Engine set. Got this for $9.09, .09, and I don't remember if it was on eBay or Amazon, but one of the two, they had this thing going for, I think it was about $30 or $25 plus shipping, maybe somewhere around there. So I figure even if I can only pull an additional $10 from it, that's doubling my money. And so we picked up this to go ahead and try and flip. Last items, two items in essence, kind of, from Meyer, include something that I thought was kind of cool. Brought me back to my childhood with the Super Mario 3. This is a Perler set. Uh, and if you don't know what Perlers are, it's pretty much making some little like 8-bit type graphic things by taking these plastic items, putting them on a, uh, a grid, and then melting it down with like an iron or something. And so... Uh, this set here, I don't know what it normally runs for, but it was clearance down to, I think, $7. I did see these selling for about $15 to $20 uh, on eBay. And so I figure that'll be a nice uh, $5, $10 profit at a minimum, maybe a little bit more. And along with that, in essence, are two Super Mario Perler books, which I think just show you some additional characters that you can make. These, I believe, were discounted all the way down to $4.00 and I think they sold for about 12 on eBay. So that pretty much concludes the Meyer purchase. I got one last item to show you, which I happen to have right here. So no time travel involved with this next one, but I did pick this up. Uh, it's called the Amber Collection Jurassic World Velociraptor Delta. And they had this on clearance at my Target for I think it was $9.55. And currently on Amazon FBA, these are apparently going for like $28 or $29, which means even after fees, that should put me net profit of around $10. So I'm pretty excited about all this. This is a pretty new jump into some of the other randomness, uh, you know, kind of strain from the Lego stuff that I'm used to. 
but it kind of gets me into doing more hunting, having more fun, picking up more toys. And, and I'm a big toy guy, so uh, these things kind of speak to me, even if they're not necessarily the um, brand or material content that I would care for. Uh, it's still fun shopping for toys, buying them. And if I can make a little bit of money in the process, that makes it even better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been thinking about this series. I, I haven't got the feedback from the first video yet because it just went live, I think, earlier today when I'm filming this. But please let me know any kind of recommendations on what kind of things I could do to change this up moving forward. Um, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel or if you've been around but haven't done it yet, please go ahead and click on that subscribe bell so that uh, uh, we can know that you're out there. You can uh, click on the bell to get notifications so that you know when the new videos are going live. My hope is to be putting out somewhere around three videos a week. One around the uh, Lego investment side of things, one focused on the BrickLink store, and then the last is kind of the general resale uh, and or maybe thrifting or shopping of some kind. I haven't exactly figured it out yet, but that's kind of what I'm leaning the channel towards. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and click on the like button below. Leave us a comment about some of the stuff that you found at thrift stores. And if you do any flipping, uh, share with us some of the cool finds that you've seen. So on that note, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next video. Bye.